light isn't great here. Also a true believer of like positive belief and, and like law of attraction. For my birthday, which is tomorrow, a natural one or a man-made. I think it's man-made. Surely it's man-made. Wow. <laughs> they didn't get us yesterday, but they got us today. Light isn't great here. Oh, my nose is so itchy. <sighs> Spring has started. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a vlog, a weekly vlog with me. I've decided I'm going to start filming my weeks again, as I was doing previously, and just bring you along for my day-to-day -day life and show you where I get up to my life in Spain. Um, lately, I haven't really been posting regularly. I'm very sorry about that. I've just been a little bit of a, I wish you'd call it like a little, like, just ditch. <laughs> um, not knowing what to do, just not knowing what to film. I didn't really feel that very motivated. But I guess everybody goes through these times of, of life where you don't, don't feel like doing anything. And I was just a bit lost, but I'm feeling a bit better. And I thought, well, if I'm feeling like this, surely somebody else is out there is feeling like it as well. So why not film it and just see what I get up to? Oh, my nose is really itchy. How to itch your nose? <laughs> no. Um, um, what I get up to, to like, to feel better, get better and show you my day to day in sunny Spain, it's beautiful weather again. And yeah, today, as you've seen, I've started doing some yoga, uh, it was really nice. I have set myself a challenge of 30 days of doing yoga. Back in COVID time, when everybody was in lockdown, I was doing yoga and it really helped me with my back pains and like just general stress of being locked in, basically. Um, not basically, but you know what I mean. Just not nice. So it really helped me with that to calm the situation. And then I just stopped doing it. Once I start like, being able to more go out and that. And um, I realised the other day that I was just stressed. And I was like, I'm going to start doing some yoga. And it's really helping me as well. And I'm really liking it. So, yeah, I'm bringing you along my journey of doing yoga. Um, I did go to work today. I had a bit of a stressful day, but I sold another property. For anybody who doesn't know, I sell properties in Spain. I'm a state agent. And yeah, I do that. But yeah, I thought I'd quickly inform you what I've been up to, what I'm doing, what is my life looking like, what what I'm doing. Well, what I'm doing. I can't even speak to so. Um, but yeah, now tonight I'm just going to be chilling. But tomorrow I'm not working, so I'll bring you along. Um, probably my mom's coming to spend some time with me, so I'll sh just bring you along on deck. And yeah, I'm just gonna chill for the evening, have some food, and I'll say hi again tomorrow. So I just got ready for the day. It's Wednesday today, my day off, and I want to do some yoga before my mom gets here. But I first thought I would read a little bit into my book. This is. Natural health for dogs and cats, like homeopathy. Um, I think also herbal. 
I'm 100% sure. But Murphy's mum got me this one here for Christmas. And it's quite good. And I just wanted to look for some remedy or something for Sienna, for my Rottweiler, because she's got always like ear infections. But I think it's a dust issue that she has. So I wanted to have a look if it says anything about like allergies and dust. I am a true believer of natural things like healing with natural herbs, natural remedies, natural everything. Diet as well. I'm into it for myself at the moment. Also a true believer of like positive belief and like law of attraction, all that. Um, fractures and wounds. No, that wouldn't be with that. Handling emergencies. No. Where is chapter four videos? To... Oh, is even videos to watch? Interesting. There you go. Because I think my allergy is going up, and she doesn't have like. Her ears get annoyed for her, but it's not, like, painful, and it's just discharge. It's a bit much information, I think, for some people. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to see. Oh, here we go. Allergies. Pages. Food treatment. Well, here we go. Allergies. Plant pollen, for example. Normal. So I've just been looking and even thinking of changing your diet so they have like recipes in here for dogs which you could say is something they eat but we've already changed like food for her to hypoallergenic but maybe i don't know i guess how more natural you go how better it is for the animal even for humans it's the same thing so most likely we'll be doing that for the little sienna shariah at the moment she's really good because she had an autoimmune like disease as well but we, we she's on medication and we changed her food and she's perfect she's been perfect for about two years three years she hadn't had any reform like getting it again i'm quite happy about that so i don't want to change her diet too much because she's quite happy um maybe i can add like some supplements to her diet and then i'm gonna have do some more research about the allergies because she gets like little wounds in her paws when she's been outside a lot um yeah and her ears but her ears don't look like infection it looks like it's ex like extra discharge which maybe from like allergy could be i'm gonna have a lot bit more information i'll keep you updated about this for anybody who's interested about healthy things for your dogs um yeah i'm doing it myself for myself as well like trying to become more healthy like with my food choices um also trying to be more organic um and i want to try to be a bit more plant-based as well and not have as much protein because i read a book i don't have it on over here right now i first read no i felt well the book i like the kickstart to my health like i really wanted to become better was the david goggins book that book really got into my head about health and like becoming your best version and then I read, um, I think it's Daniel Orion or something like that. He was in Down to Earth, a series on Netflix with Zac Efron. He has a book and it's really, really good. I'll just, let me just get it. Let me just get it. Go to bed. Oh, good girl. <laughs> so it's this book here. It's Super Life by Darren Orion. That's it. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, but such a good book. It's really opened my mind up to a lot of things. And for nutrition. And we will start watching the series again. Down to Earth. Which in some episodes explain about this as well. Like what he like talks about in this book. That's really, really interesting. Also about oh, how organic is so much better for you. Um, how water is really important. Because, for example, you will... Like thirst, when you feel thirsty, that is the last symptom you feel. Already all your cell cells and, and all your organisms inside, they're already being dehydrated because your brain needs water. Once your brain like feels like it needs water, it will take it from the other cells. And then your cells get dehydrated. So that's called cellular de dehydration. And when you feel thirsty, that's already on the last stage. So your body is already being thirsty a lot sooner then you actually know, so it's really important. And that is like one 
one of the things that blew my mind. Um, other things about how much protein that you actually need. That too much protein is not really good for you. Um, yeah, I am just wanted to do some more research about it. And become healthier. Like, do make healthier choices. Healthier everything. Um, but yeah, if you want to read something about like health and get a bit of a motivation and get some tips and tricks this book is really good also talks about alkaliniz- alkalinization alkalization alkalization al- alkalization <laughs> um like how like your body can be more acidic and in acidic environments your body can like have like different diseases how it's bad for you and then depending on the food that you eat you can bring your body more in an alkaline alkalizational environment which is better for your cells and organs and yeah no i think it's really good i'm like was really blown away with this book and now the moment i'm reading outlive outlive i think it's outlive by dr Taya. he was in the limitless series and it's also really good um yeah i thought i would update you about that and i am going to shortly do some house things and do some yoga before my mom gets here. To this center channel of the body. Thank you. Let's your left foot now bring it back to the midline. And that's when your low abs are going to need to turn on right here. So we're going to press it into both hands. Okay, six. Here we release. Now walk the hands forward. Four and five with the shoulders. I'm a terrible vlogger, but I'm trying to get back into it. Um, I had a lovely day today, and again, I haven't vlogged it unfortunately because I was so in the moment. I spent some time with my friend Natalie, um, she's back over from New Zealand, and we had just like a lovely day talking. We didn't like stop talking, we had to have some tapas as well. And then I came home, and then Murphy got home, and we went shopping. And yeah, sometimes when you're in the moment, you just don't like remember to record. And I, I do have a little clip of the food, like the tapas, which I'll insert now. Um, but yeah, we're just back from shopping. And I just quickly want to show you what we got for our weekly shop. It's not everything, but, well, it's pretty much everything. From, since, well, basically, since we have an Audi in our town, they do more like eat like organic like fruit and vegetables so we're trying to buy more organic things and soon i will be ordering as well like um organic vegetable boxes which will be interesting Hi. <laughs> can i take the water well yeah we got water water <laughs> so yeah we're trying to be more better for our health better for everything i want to know eating meat not stop eating meat but just be a bit more plant-based, I'll say. So we've got some chicken, especially for meal prep for the week for Merv. Um, there's some nachos, some organic nachos, period pads, um, organic peppers and avocados. 
some nuts, some cheddar cheese, some organic red lentils, more organic peppers, some organic um, vegetable stock, and organic eggs as well. Some breads, organic chicken stock, organic kombucha, another organic kombucha. <laughs> what are you doing? Holding it nicely so it's not so loud. <laughs> some more almonds, more nuts, more almonds, coffee, some alkaline water which uh, we saw a program about this didn't we oh no i read the book you read the book i read the book and they say like it could be good to have so it's like ph9 so see if it's any different some more alkaline water mandarin juice organic milk another bottle of organic milk Organic red beans, and then two packs of tortilla wraps for Mr. Murphy. Yeah, they're not organic. <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't have organic. And we also have, do you want to do the honors of showing, Matt? Because it's too heavy for me. Alright. A whole bag of organic, but this is like from a client who's bought this property, <sighs> and he needed to go back to, to the UK, I think. Lemons. And Grapefruit. There's a spider on there. Ooh. Oranges and grapefruits. Can you show the bag how big it is? <laughs> so yeah, we got lemons and all that. Organic. Oh, spider. Um, oh, as a client, I need to go back home. And he was like, oh, well, feel free to come and get some. Because they're all going to go to waste. So I was like, of course we want some, like, fruit. And yeah, totally organic. Oh, it's like, how many hundreds of euros of lemons? <laughs> If, especially if you buy it like eco in the shop, yeah. you know, organic. We got 300 <laughs> euros of lemons. <laughs> You're working. Um, but yeah, today has been a fantastic day. Unfortunately, I didn't film as much as I said, but today, the night's still young. So we're going to have to make some dinner and probably chill. <laughs> but tomorrow is Saturday and we will be filming more and I'll be bringing you along a little bit more but I just wanted to let you, well, show you what we got and let you know that I had a fantastic day. Did you have a good day, darling? Mm hmm Did Always. you? Always. Always. Mm. Every day is a good day for me. Very good. Now yeah. I'm going to put the shopping away now and get dinner on the go. Murphy's gone out and he's getting some bits for my birthday, which is tomorrow. I'm um, not sure what he's gone out for, but hey, it will be a surprise. And I've gone to the market and I've got myself a box of strawberries. I've got about two kilos. Two kilos something. A beautiful box of strawberries. There you go. Ah. <laughs> so that was about nine euros. And then I got to, went to the shop to get some yogurt to go with the strawberries for later, as I love my yogurt bowl. And then put the last washing in, and I just need to put it out. And then, not sure we've got to do. Well, I've got to... 
I got to juice and I want to tidy the house, which is pretty tidy, but I just want to tidy a little bit more. Um, yeah, and a meal prep, I think, this is empty. Great. Oh yeah, I'll do that again for now. And I need to put my strawberries away, put the washing out and start juicing. We are going on a little adventure. Little... <laughs> we are actually off to Baffa Lakes as our water supply, like a little backstory, our water supply from all this area comes from there and it's not a big lake really but in the summer we go there and go paddleboarding, kayaking and you can swim. It's more of a water reservoir and we have had no rain for how long will you say Merv? More than a year no? Well we've had some rain but not proper yeah, no, rain. No, but proper rain. A Oops. year, year and a half? Yeah. Maybe? Something like I don't that. Know, maybe even more. No, it's gotta be a year. Yeah, like I'd a, say a year. Approximately a year. But apparently it's only at twenty percent now and there's not much left so they have put like restrictions on the water so we only can use 200 litres per no. person yeah. in a house so we don't know how they measure that but that's what that's what the, the regulations are yes but they say every year they say that it's at some sort of percentage the lake and we go there and it's the same as it was before so we were just so, wondering like if it's going to be any different let's see if it actually is and then yeah because in other parts of spain they are like yeah. nearly empty loads of them yeah in malaga uh, it's like dry like yeah, yeah one's at seven percent capacity so it's like bone dry nothing when they all the solution now is it going to be pumping water in from the sea and going making it go through the salate desalate yeah you can just get the salt out of it yeah <laughs> what do you call it a word desalination isn't it yeah something like that so yeah yeah we shall see we have stopped off here at a lovely tapa place sun shining having a lovely beer olives olives which we might have eaten last one how nice. Drop. And this is Secreto with some chips and alioli. And over there we have oxtail croquettes and the Murphy's other. Two euro sandwich. Two euro sandwich. <laughs> the chorizo, chicken, and peppers. Peppers. Two Lovely. quid. This is four quid. I know. This is 150. Yes. That was a euro. This is 120. <laughs> This is 120. <laughs> Dinner for two. In the sunshine? 15 euros. <laughs> Look at that. Like Dalito, which is like... Oh, two, two euros. Yeah. Can you have What better? more can you say? Nothing. Nothing. Right. Taste test. Mm. Nice. You're a bit of mayo. <laughs> You're ruining a good Spanish book I need you by a bit of mayo. No, it's nice. It's nice without. <laughs> Very nice and soft. <laughs> 
So we made it, we hear the water reservoir lake and we're just having a discussion if this is a natural one natural. or a man-made. I think it's man-made. Surely it's man-made. It's an embalse. It doesn't matter. How are they going to fill this up? I don't know. It's impossible. It goes from the ground. That's why there's hot springs down the road. But why doesn't it keep coming? Why are they because worried about being empty? Because there's no rain for like a year. So the natural waters that are under the ground, they, where do you think they get that water from? They have to get it from the rain, I guess. And it absorbs into the ground, down to the channels under the ground, and then it comes back up. The fish, look, 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 that bird just got a fish. Murphy was saying the, the seagulls the can't, 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 can't clear in half. Can't. I was saying, why you is see, it? You, see, so you, was, it? you were saying the seagulls can't get any food. Yeah, here. I didn't think they thought they were too big to fish. <laughs> why has this got no bottle in it? Because. This is surely it's going to be thousands it, it, of years old. This is like. Like like. Old rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you surprise me every day even more. Yeah, but yeah, every day in the, sun, the water is so clear as well. It's beautiful. It's very nice. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't think it's changed that much no. since last time we've been here, which was August. It hasn't changed that much. Maybe at the ends, as you said well, before. Exactly, that's what I was saying. If we go to the ends, maybe we'll see where the water's like. How do we get to the ends? I don't know. There's a road. I don't know. We'll see if we get to the ends. If not, maybe go to the hot springs or just home. I think the hot springs is on the end. It's on the end? Yeah, over there. I'm scared you said there's a location. Yeah, I've got the location. Woo! Let's hot springs. go! Let's go and get our titties out. Yeah! <laughs> quite a few people. It's not that many We stopped people. by the police first of all. Oh yeah, because I, I wanted to film but it was like a policeman kept like coming to me saying you'll be going in a minute, you'll be going in a minute. Am I okay? Yeah. I was a bit like oh I don't like it, stop by police. Um, but we got here to the hot springs and I think we're just gonna go home and then come a day early and then Morning, morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> and you have done some nice work over here. Like, just look at this on my presents. How nice. And then over here, we have a little happy birthday, my 24. Can't believe I'm getting, I mean, it's getting this old. We're like 24. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. No You're so lovely. And I love your recycled <laughs> wrapping paper. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have any more wrapping paper. Uh, Patch it up a bit. <laughs> the thought that counts. It's a thought that counts and you've done the effort, so you're well exactly. done, baby. Well done. <laughs> served my breakfast, strawberries, spanish chocolate, fresh orange juice and coffee. Can't ask for a better boyfriend. Maybe they're making his breakfast now. But how nice. I feel really, really grateful. He's so sweet, the orange juice. Let's try the apple.
them older or been on the show for a while. Yeah. I'll tell you or not. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get us yesterday, but they got us today. Uh, it, was a, it was a speed camera. <laughs> we're well, just, see it, you know? I always we see, are just I'm always literally talking that. about it. I'm always checking on that on this road. And then, yeah, we got done. Only 50 euros. Only 50 euros. No euros. points, no points, so that's really good. So we need to cleanse. <laughs> I, was only, I was only going 10 over. Yeah, I'll just message. No, 20, 20 over. I'll just message our friends who are meeting us at the beach to be careful. So, yeah. Oh well, life happens in a Murph. Yes. You've just you've just ruined the nice design of it. Do you want to get mine? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you just mixed it. <laughs> it's a matte coffee. <laughs> that does look a good bit of cake. I might have to give it a take, take away. <laughs> Murphy wants to. This is number one. No, mine's number one. But that does look good. Is to it there? Here we just got home. We're chilling. We are very tired, aren't we, Murphy? Yeah, I need to have another coffee. You need to have another coffee. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, what a Sunday. What a Sunday. I'm actually enjoying it so much. So With nice. Care. Yeah, that's like... I've had two pieces of cake. Well, I've had three pieces of cake today. And sugary <laughs> savoury things this morning. Not savoury. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, savoury. Yes. So this, so like what you've seen up to now, like we've been to the beach, we had the cold plunge, then we went to a little cafe to have a coffee with our friends, then we went to my parents. Unfortunately, didn't feel much there because I was just in a moment. Again, it's sometimes all about being in the moment and enjoying the moment, and it's which is really nice, isn't it? Yes. And it was very lovely. I had some lovely presents, which is so lovely. Oh, I've got one here, and actually my mum's made this. And this is his bag. I always wanted like a denim bag. And I was like, oh, I got some denim like jeans, which I can't um, do much with because it's broken or something. I can try to make it. And it's, it's come out really, really well. Like very nice. Got like a big pocket in there. Yeah. And it's got even a little sad pocket there <laughs> to put like a bottle in. Very nice. A few bikinis, a travel bag. I'll show you later or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Later. Later, I'll show you what I've got. Um, I'm just chilling out and being hit by a balloon. But in what in an hour's time, we need to go, go again. And we're going to meet all the rest of the family. An hour or no? Two hours? An hour and a half. hour and a half. An hour and 15. We need to meet the rest of the family. Well, you're all sad, really. And my friend Natalie. That would be nice. Oh, really? oh no. We're picking her up from the bowling alley. Yeah. Uh, and my decorations hold up. <laughs> yeah. It's always good, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. To you? Happy birthday. Oh, I, that's like too much sugar in my system today. Way too much sugar. But I'm alive. Tomorrow, back to routine, darling. I haven't been to the gym like for over... A, Two weeks now? No? Mm hmm. Well, oh, you just even want to talk to me, guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> I haven't been to the week, to the gym for about yeah, two weeks. And I'm happy to get back into routine um, tomorrow, Monday. I could have done with another day off. I should have taken a day off tomorrow, really. Off of work, that would have been nice. Lovely chilling of this exciting birthday it's been busy so yeah we're gonna chill and then see when we go in and meet the rest of the family for another meal 
Yay! Also, I love how Murphy's improvised into making this photo frame. <laughs> bless him he found this like last minute and he wanted to do as a present and then he couldn't go to the shop to get picture printers the shop was closed so how nice is that let me see focus 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 yes do you see that happy birthday baby here we go Happy birthday, baby. I love you forever. Sorry, these aren't pictures, but not. But next week we can get some nice pics printed. Kiss. I hope you love all your all your prezzies and have a super nice day. Love you lots. Murph, what do you got to say to that? Like, well, it was improvisation. But I think it's really good. So if they say, oh, I didn't have time to do it, doesn't matter. They improvise and they put the effort into it and it's beautiful. Thank you, baby. It'd be nice how once we got the pictures. Yeah, but it's lovely. It's a lovely detail. <laughs> yeah. Very nice done. Very proud of you. Are these actual pictures on the other side? Yeah. Oh, they are! <laughs> okay, so there are pictures on the other side. Ah. All right. Oh, it's not focused. Ah. I thought you even cut it to the sizes. I thought you cut very straight. No, very nice. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> so guys, it's a little bit later, as in a few days later. I was supposed to finish the vlog on Sunday night, but on Sunday I had such a great time. I forgot to film at the Indian. Had an amazing time with family. Um, it was so lovely. It was really nice. And then on Monday I woke up and I was, didn't feel well. I thought it was because of the alcohol I drank, because I had a little bit of alcohol but I'm not drinking much anymore. So I thought maybe I'm not used to it. I had three glasses of wine and two Prosecco. So maybe, maybe I'm not used to it, but it was food poisoning. And I did think this after, so it makes sense because I had one bit of chicken in my curry, which felt raw and I just kept on eating it, which was stupid. And yeah, I was, I was so unwell. Like I'm still not feeling 100%. And that's why my vlog is a little bit delayed, but still will be going up this week, I promise. So, yes. So all this vlog the footage is from last week, and then you will see in this week. In another shorter video, which I will start probably tomorrow. Um, yeah, I just want to come up quickly and say thank you so much for everybody who's sticked out to the end. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, as it would mean well to me. And if you haven't liked the video, please like it. It will sort of help me. Um, what's that? Also help me. Can we replay that? <laughs> that was a bit funny. Um, but yes, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. And also thank you for everybody who made my birthday very special if you're watching. I'm really grateful. And yeah, thank you so much. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye.